Our universe is a place of constant change. Evolution is the driving force of this change, a process that has unfolded over billions of years. It is the story of how life on Earth has transformed from simple, single-celled organisms to the incredible diversity of plants and animals we see today, including us humans. In the following sections, we will delve into the specifics of human evolution, tracing our lineage back through time to uncover the fascinating journey that led from our earliest ancestors to modern humans. Our journey begins billions of years ago in the primordial soup of early Earth. Here, life first emerged in the form of single-celled organisms, simple structures capable of self-replication. Over eons, these single-celled pioneers gave rise to more complex life forms. Around 66 million years ago, a cataclysmic event, likely an asteroid impact, wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species, paving the way for the rise of mammals. In the aftermath of the dinosaurs' extinction, mammals seized the opportunity to diversify and evolve. Among them were the earliest primates, our distant ancestors. These small tree-dwelling creatures possessed several key adaptations that would prove crucial to our evolutionary lineage. In the next section, we will delve deeper into the specific adaptations that set our ancestors on the path to becoming human, starting with the pivotal transition to bipedalism, walking upright on two legs. Around six million years ago, the African continent was undergoing a dramatic transformation. This marked a pivotal moment in human evolution, the transition to bipedalism. Standing upright offered a significant advantage. It allowed them to see over tall grasses, scanning for danger and spotting the potential food sources from afar. The advantages of bipedalism outweighed these drawbacks, setting the stage for a cascade of evolutionary innovations that would define our lineage. Walking upright brought about a profound change in perspective for our ancestors, literally and figuratively. With their hands free, they could carry food, tools, and even infants more efficiently. But perhaps the most profound consequence of bipedalism was its impact on brain development. The transition to bipedalism was a defining moment in human evolution, a turning point that set our ancestors on a different evolutionary trajectory from our ape cousins. As our ancestors adapted to life on the savannah, their brains continued to evolve, leading to the development of new skills and abilities. One of the most significant of these was the emergence of tool use, a hallmark of human evolution. The earliest evidence of hominin tool use dates back around 3.3 million years ago in modern-day Ethiopia. The development of tools marked a turning point in human evolution, ushering in a new era of technological innovation. Around 2.8 million years ago, a new genus emerged on the African savanna Homo. These early members of our genus, such as Homo habilis, possessed larger brains, smaller teeth, and were more adept at toolmaking. The emergence of Homo coincided with a period of significant environmental change in Africa. Homo habilis, meaning handy man, earned its name from its association with these early tools. Around 1.8 million years ago, a new hominin species emerged, one that would leave an indelible mark on human evolution, Homo erectus. One of the most remarkable achievements of Homo erectus was the control of fire. Evidence suggests that they were using fire for cooking, warmth and protection from predators as early as 1.5 million years ago. Homo erectus, with their larger brains, mastery of fire and adventurous spirit, pushed the boundaries of human evolution, setting the stage for the emergence of our own species, Homo sapiens. Equipped with their advanced tools, mastery of fire, and a growing capacity for social cooperation, Homo erectus embarked on a journey of unprecedented scale. They migrated out of Africa, expanding their range across vast distances and encountering new environments and challenges. 
Fossil evidence suggests that Homo erectus reached the Caucasus region as early as 1.8 million years ago, pushing the limits of their known range. Their migration out of Africa was not a single event, but rather a series of waves, with populations moving and adapting over hundreds of thousands of years. As Homo erectus populations spread across the globe, they laid the foundation for the emergence of new hominin species, each shaped by the unique challenges and opportunities of their respective environments. The story of human evolution is not a simple, linear progression. As Homo erectus ventured out of Africa, different populations faced unique environmental pressures, leading to the emergence of distinct Homo species across the globe. In Europe, Homo erectus gave rise to Homo antecessor and later Homo heidelbergensis, a species known for its robust build and larger brain. This diversity of Homo species highlights the adaptability and resilience of our ancient ancestors. Among the many branches of the human family tree, Neanderthals hold a special place in our imagination. These close relatives, who inhabited Europe and parts of Asia from around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago, have long captured our curiosity, sparking endless debates about their intelligence, culture and ultimate fate. For thousands of years, Neanderthals shared their world with early Homo sapiens, who arrived in Europe around 45,000 years ago. The extinction of Neanderthals, coinciding with the arrival of Homo sapiens, remains one of the enduring mysteries of human evolution. Clues from the past. Fossil discoveries and what they reveal. Our understanding of human evolution is constantly evolving, shaped by new fossil discoveries and advances in scientific techniques. Each new find, whether a complete skeleton or a single tooth, adds a piece to the puzzle, helping us reconstruct the intricate tapestry of our past. One such groundbreaking discovery was the unearthing of Lucy, a remarkably complete Australopithecus afarensis skeleton found in Ethiopia in 1974. Lucy, who lived around 3.2 million years ago, provided compelling evidence of bipedalism in our early ancestors, revolutionizing our understanding of human origins. More recently, the discovery of Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit, on the Indonesian island of Flores in 2003, stunned the scientific community. These small statured hominins who lived as recently as 50,000 years ago possessed a unique combination of primitive and derived traits, challenging our assumptions about the course of human evolution. These discoveries, along with countless others, highlight the dynamic nature of our evolutionary history. They remind us that our understanding of the past is constantly being refined as new evidence comes to light, challenging existing theories and opening new avenues of exploration. The dawn of culture, symbolic thought and social complexity. As Homo species continued to evolve, so too did their cognitive abilities and social structures. The emergence of symbolic thought, the ability to represent ideas and concepts through language, art and other forms of expression marked a profound shift in human evolution. Evidence for early symbolic behaviour can be found in the archaeological record from simple geometric engravings on ochre stones to elaborate cave paintings depicting animals, hunting scenes and even abstract patterns. These artefacts, dating back tens of thousands of years, provide a glimpse into the minds of our ancestors, revealing a capacity for abstract thought, imagination and perhaps even spiritual beliefs. This cognitive leap coincided with the development of more complex social structures, larger group sizes, increased cooperation and the emergence of specialised roles within communities allowed for more efficient foraging, hunting and child rearing. These social adaptations coupled with the power of language and symbolic thought, laid the groundwork for the development of culture as we know it. The dawn of culture marked a turning point in human evolution, setting our species on a trajectory that would lead to the development of art, music, religion and all the other facets of human experience that define our species. It was a testament to the power of the human mind to transcend its biological limitations, shaping the world around us and leaving an enduring legacy for generations to come.
Around 300,000 years ago, amidst the dramatic landscapes of Africa, a new player emerged on the stage of human evolution, Homo sapiens. We, the modern humans, were not the brutish caricatures often depicted in popular media. We were instead a species distinguished by a unique combination of physical and cognitive traits. From the savannas of Africa, we ventured into diverse environments, adapting to and eventually thriving in a range of challenging ecosystems. Our unparalleled capacity for innovation, communication and social cooperation set us apart. Early Homo sapiens exhibited a remarkable ability to fashion specialised tools from stone, bone and antler. This technological ingenuity was coupled with a burgeoning capacity for abstract thought. What catapulted Homo sapiens to the forefront was a profound shift in our cognitive abilities. This cognitive revolution wasn't a singular event, but a gradual unfolding of mental capabilities. Early Homo sapiens developed language, sharing intricate thoughts and ideas. Our ancestors engaged in symbolic thought, evidenced by art and rituals. We began actively shaping our environment, developing sophisticated strategies and social structures. Section 3. A cultural explosion, art, innovation and the spread of humanity. Fueled by our advanced cognitive abilities, Homo sapiens embarked on a period of unprecedented cultural development. Across the globe, from the caves of Europe to the shores of Australia, our ancestors were leaving their mark, not just through footprints, but through the enduring legacy of their creativity. Caves transformed into canvases, their walls adorned with breathtaking paintings of animals, hunting scenes and abstract patterns. These early artists utilised pigments derived from natural materials, experimenting with colour and form to capture the essence of their world. Beyond their aesthetic beauty, these paintings offer invaluable insights into the minds of our ancestors, their beliefs and their relationship with the natural world. Innovation wasn't confined to artistic expression. Toolkits became increasingly specialised and sophisticated, tailored to specific tasks and environments. The development of projectile weapons like the spear thrower and the bow and arrow revolutionised hunting practices, allowing our ancestors to target prey from a distance with greater accuracy and safety. This cultural flourishing coincided with a dramatic expansion of Homo sapiens across the globe. We migrated across continents, navigating treacherous seas and adapting to a diverse array of ecosystems. By around 12,000 years ago, we had reached every corner of the habitable world, a testament to our adaptability, ingenuity and unwavering drive to explore. And section 4. Masters of Adaptation Homo Sapiens Conquering the Globe The success of Homo Sapiens can be attributed in no small part to our remarkable ability to adapt to a wide range of environments. Unlike other hominin species with more specialised adaptations, we possessed a remarkable degree of plasticity, allowing us to thrive in diverse ecosystems, from the frozen Arctic tundra to the arid deserts of Australia. This adaptation wasn't merely a matter of physical resilience. It was driven by our capacity for innovation and cultural exchange. As we migrated across continents, we encountered new challenges and opportunities, prompting the development of novel technologies and social structures tailored to specific environments. In colder climates, we crafted warm clothing from animal hides and constructed shelters to withstand harsh weather conditions. In coastal regions, we learned to exploit marine resources, developing fishing techniques and building boats capable of navigating open waters. This adaptability wasn't limited to the physical world. We developed social structures and belief systems that helped us cope with the challenges of new environments, fostering cooperation and ensuring the survival of our communities. This adaptability, coupled with our cognitive prowess and capacity for cultural innovation, allowed us to not only survive, but to thrive in virtually every corner of the globe. We had become a truly global species, our fate intertwined with the diverse ecosystems and cultures we encountered along the way. Reflections on our shared heritage. Our journey through human evolution is etched in our very being. Every cell carries echoes of this extraordinary past. We are the inheritors of an incredible legacy. Our intelligence built cities and explored stars, but also fueled conflict. The story of human evolution is one of interconnectedness. Recognizing this, 
we can craft a future in harmony with our planet. The future of our species challenges and opportunities in the Anthropocene. We stand at a pivotal juncture in human history. Our actions have reshaped the planet entering the Anthropocene epoch. The challenges are immense, but so is our capacity for ingenuity and cooperation. We must harness technology and collective action to create a sustainable future. This requires recognizing our interconnectedness with nature. Embrace a holistic worldview for the well-being of all life on Earth. The future is a blank canvas. We have the power to shape it.